Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sanjo, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Where we last left off, uh, we got into another case where a prosecutor's... Did she... Pro no, I'm rephrasing that wrong. Uh, where a chief prosecutor got convicted of murder, and it's, um, her little sister is telling us to save her. So, also, uh, by the way, if you're watching this and you have not... By the way, I think I should have really said this in the part before, but technically, if you're playing the GBA port of this game, this this case is completely irrelevant until you get the DS port or trilogy. But anyway, regardless of that fact, I'm going to continue on. Oh, I didn't have that like, um, oh cool, I didn't have like that sound error, error I normally have when I try and do this, or at least for the first attempt, which case I have to restart my computer. Thank God, that's gonna, I hate when that happens. And maybe OBS is running a little better now. February 23rd, 9.30 a.m., District Court, or Defendant Lobby Number 2. How did the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Wright? Yeah, the music is completely bumping without, no, well, sound glitches for the moment. I say for the moment. Frankly, there are still a lot of gray areas. Oh, there it is. There it goes. I had to say it, didn't I? Or rather, one whole thing. The whole thing is one gr big gray area. Don't worry about me. No matter what the outcome is, I'm ready to accept my fate. Believe I believe in you, sis. Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. Yes. A defense attorney should never believe their client. The defendant is called all to trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. Miss Sky, you you remind me a lot of Mia. But there's one decisive difference between you and her. And that is, you're not a defense attorney. I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Wright. <laughs> My first trial without a Fay helping me. No one's going to bail me out this time. I'll be alone in there. So I have to discover the truth by all, all, all by discover the truth all by myself. And I gotta fight Edgeworth without a uh, without a A either. Shit. Let's do it, Mr. Wright. I'll be with you the whole way. Uh, so essentially you're gonna be our Maya. Uh too bad we don't have a spirit medium. Blah. February twenty third, ten AM district court. Or courtroom number nine. What the hell? We were in definite lobby number two, weren't we? The court is now session for the trial, Mr. Palmer Sky. Oh god, I've been out of this for a while. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Well, it's good it's been ready for a while, Your Honor. Edgeworth. Oh, I do appreciate you sending my ass a, few, a year ago. It's what it being what. No, no, screw it. I'm not gonna make bring that one up again. I haven't seen in court. I haven't been in court since it's worth trial. It's been a while now. Might be a little wet, but I might be a little. I hope that personal feelings will not be a part of proceedings today, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright. Yep. I will choose the path I think is right, regardless of those around me might say. The judgment open to be made here is on our hands, not on those of anyone else. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. Chief Prosecutor Lona Sky has committed an unpardonable. Pardonable? Pardon. Okay. Pardon. Pardonable. Okay, got it. An unpardonable crime. Not only this, but she was rash enough to commit it in the prosecutor's office lot. Wow, he's much more forceful in person. I suddenly feel like confessing it to everything. However, she will now pay for her rashness with her life. That was a witness to a crime. A professional witness. Well, then, call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls its first witness, Miss Angel Stone, to the stand. The cough up queen? Yep. <sighs> How do I see you somewhere? You order the caviar lunch, right? Oh, covered it. Caviar. I haven't eaten caviar before. The judge is really wolfing it down. And for you, I have a fiesta bowl. Uh, thanks. Well, the witness turned her name and profession. Ah, and you, sir. 
order the fingerprint lunch box. It's too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. Well, Your Honor, how does it taste? So this is why everyone raves. So, it's about, so this is why everyone raves about caviar. It's so tasty and hurts. I always thought caviar would taste like pickled tapioca. What the hell is a pick? What the hell does pickled tapioca taste like? And to be fair, I'm not really. Name, profession, now. Damn. Do I need to fucking repeat it? Yeah, for the third damn time. B, the name, name is Angel Star. Don't go forgetting it. I find myself running Lunchland these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. The prosk sure wait. I'm not finishing. Hurry it up. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. As you know, we usually call on the police to provide a description of the time. Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am a professional. Uh, huh? 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 What exactly does that mean? Until two years ago, Miss Angel Star was a special investigator with the police. She was a first-rate homicide detective. But what? Miss Star was a detective? Oh, ha! I, I know who you are. Cough up! Cough up Queen Angel Star, Your Honor. Long time no see. Oh, ver ver very well. You may continue your description. you with, your with the description, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? If I might have the court's attention over here. Do 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 the parking lot at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. Block A block is for prosecutor office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. A chain divider separates the two blocks. I suppose that is to keep... I suppose that is to keep visitors from taking on prosecutor's spaces, yes? The crime took place by a car in the back of A block in the car's trunk. The killer stabbed the victim with a knife and derived the body out of it. Uh... I don't know, that seems a little... Unfortunately for her, there was a witness and an arrest was made on the spot. And who was this body to witness? Why, it was me, Your Honor. Alright, I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? Actually, hold on, let's take a look here. Um, yeah, let's, uh, okay. Okay, remember, uh, uh, the left bumper does that, okay. I'm sorry if I'm going back and forth. I just want to like make sure of things. Well, she would have to be a visitor, so she. So I feel like there's going to be some discrepancy when it comes to like something later. But I don't know. Just call that a feeling, because again, I technically this is the case I kind of stopped that now. This is technically the case I stopped that during the during, when I had the trilogy game. So uh, give me a few minutes here. I, I may I may end up screwing up somewhere along the line. Witness, when did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, Your Honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm. Seems rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Wright. Uh, I can't agree on, on principle. I can't agree on principle, Honor. Your Honor. It seems that some poor losers will are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? If you can, to give them your wish, Mr. Wait, are they talking about me? No, oh, no. Oh, no, I'm screwed. I damn right you're screwed. Witnesses account. Somehow, I always knew that a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. I sensed when I said something, perhaps it was my finally owned detective instincts working. <laughs> when I then threw a wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing through a standing next to a guy or car. Damn it, what is getting damn it? Why does everyone keep saying that car looks garish? Go to hell with all of you! It's a fine looking red convertible! It's a fine looking red Oh no, don't screw it. No one cares about my car. All they're gonna constantly call it is garish. Spotting it being a fucking Camaro! Bastards. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into the Detective Goodman's chest. Wait, how did I... Actually, my question is, how the hell do you know... Hmm... Hmm... Bring it all up. 
bring your lunchbox to your boyfriend. How touchy. Hmm. As you can see, there's no room for doubt. The key point of your testimony seems to be nothing, nothing other than the point of the night on which you see are being stabbed into the act of Goodman. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I am still thinking about that. I it's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Alright, bring it on, Edgeworth. Oh, you will be dumbed. Um, Wait, what? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 oh, wait, I'm jumping in. Um, uh, you're going down, right? Uh, I feel like someone's not in order today. Seriously, yeah, she's got like fucking Onigiri on her head. She's got a hat with Onigiri on it. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, you know, whatever. J Japanifornia, there you go. <laughs> Uh, I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. I don't think it's relevant. I sensed something, perhaps it was my finally honed instance working, and through a wire fence. It's standing next to Okay, let's let's get more. Uh oh. Hold on one second. Ah, damn it. Well, I'm glad there's like a little mute button on my mic so I can bleep out the burp at least. By Garish car, you mean Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. Mr. Edgeworth. Incidentally, the knife was which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth, wasn't it? My god, it's like someone's trying to blame me again. Indeed it was. That's fine. Hmm, what an odd case this is. The person you saw, you sure I was the defendant? Oh god, no! Stop that! No, I am innocent! Um, you're not on trial, Edgeworth. I know, but... I swear, they keep blaming me! Uh Right, you shut the hell up. I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. I'm certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed. Let's just do what we can, even if we don't have any proof, we can always complain. We're dealing with Edgeworth here. I need better material before I start pressing this. <laughs> you tell us the suspect. That's what the suspect was doing when you saw him. Well, let's see here. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Actually, I do want to check. S oh, shit, there goes that audio again. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, nope. Shit, come on! I hate when the audio does it. Um, the murder weapon was found in Edgeworth's toolbox, traces of the blood. Well, she probably saw it in her right hand, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna back off on that one, so. Uh, death due to blood loss, uh, died within a half hour and a half of 4 p.m. I would ask whether or not it's here. Uh, then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Wait, how do you know who he is? Um, never mind. You know what? Fuck it. Now, um, I would like to make sure of this. Tell me more about this knife that the suspect was carrying. Well, I'd say the blade was about 10 centimeters long. Isn't that right, Mr. Edgeworth? It is your knife, after all. Uh, <clears throat> yes, that's about right. Prosecutors are, by nature, well-versed in the location of a man's vital organs. I'm sure it's easier than a bo than bullying an egg for my egg salad surprise. You can't testify at your ability to kill an egg, I mean, a person. Hmm? Perhaps a chicken salad would, would have been, would have said a bit, <laughs> what a chicken salad set would have been a better metaphor. So the defendant was holding a knife, what then? Tell us more, mister. Alright, um... It's only a flesh wound, mister, right? We can make it. You said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, the star's testimony is flawless. It sounds pretty fatal to me. What do we do? Is this it? Is my sister guilty? Let's just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. Don't smile like that. <laughs> um, okay. You know, actually, yeah, let's just lay out. Yeah, let's just bullshit our way through. How did you know? I respect the prosecutor's basic overhearing of the crime, yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to a tra will lead to tragedy. Oh, the lunch lady's uniformed opinion is duly noted. An informed, uninformed opinion is duly noted. Oh, it, oh I, I, okay, I misread that. <laughs> My mistake. Uh, given that they are used 
used to erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim. Killing off a detective that knew too much was merely an extension of that. Well, you must really hate prosecutors, huh, bitch? A star? Do you have something personal against prosecutors? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, or I'd still be one. Laid off? She was fired? To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. That said, I am a pro. As you know, my testimony, testimony is unbiased and flawed. Oh, oh, As here, it was on the way to deliver the one spot. To the okay, let's continue on. No, again, let's just bullshit our way through here. Uh, this boyfriend, he's the detective. Not that boyfriend, the security guard. Not that boyfriend. Of several. Yes, this boyfriend, that boyfriend, the other boyfriend. Care to join? The yet another boyfriend position is still open for applicants. I'll stick up with the launch, thanks. Note to self, the judge had had to think before replying. The security guard room is in a lot in a, uh, a block. All right, it's up on the second level. If you can see everything from here, that would be the room in the security sign. All right. Incidentally, did you bring your lunch lunch boxes by car? Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B block. In B block. So she was in B block when she witnessed the crime. All right. When I said something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective instincts working. All right. Again, once again, we are going to constantly bullshit our way here. You sent something, so you're saying you had a premonition of the murder? I felt it felt like how would you say? Oh yes, it was like the feeling you get when you fill a pumpkin chock full of seeds. I have no idea what that means. Speaking of a detective's instincts, wasn't the victim Mr. Bruce Goodman also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. Uh, I don't cheese. A pale white cheese, not yet tang, ain't ange with experience on the streets. A greenhorn. Hmm. I am close up. I'm hard, yellow shot as a tank. I bet you stink too. <laughs> In any case, Ace, they're in a lot. They're in the lot. I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. All right. And then through a wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to Gershard's car. We already pushed that statement. The prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Let's make sure that is from a right hand. Tell me more about this knife that the suspect was carrying. Oh, wait. Never mind. We went over this one. Oh, you went over this one, right? Stop being a dumbass. So the was only gonna, uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, then I thrust. Then the thr okay. Let's press. This will be the next point I would have to uh, press. Tell the court why you didn't try to stop this crime. You did see her raise the knife to strike. No. Hmm. The defense has a point. Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late. Yes. The next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. I. I see. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. You said that before. Anything? Okay. So, yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's see here. Um. Wait. She said right hand. Okay, so. Okay, you know what? Screw it. She said right hand. The only thing I can come up with. See here. I was on my. Uh, nah, nah. Okay, there's no prince. There's no prints. We can't really. If she was stabbing him with the right, with with the blade, how do we know it's from the right hand? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. I screwed that one up. Uh, I'm not sure. I thought clearly our country. Maybe there was a statement I didn't press yet. So I'm very convinced, Mr. Wright. Uh, objection of rules. Ah, uh, I'm gonna get screwed because again, I, I again I did play this one recently, but. You know, I'm just gonna like do this multiple times just in case there's like I'm just gonna Oh yes I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna bow and I'm like is that a bullshit argument Once again I'm gonna keep holding B until we get to the point where we need to get to. I'm gonna make sure we got every detail here.
Wait, 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 wait. Hold on one second. I was on my way to deliver the lunchbox to my boyfriend. Alright, so I want to set traps. I'm gonna, I, I don't really know this one much. And then we're already 20 minutes in, and it's probably due to the fact that I don't know what the hell it is. Went through the fence, I saw all the prosecutors. Again, I'm just going to hold the beat. Yeah, we've already did this one already. Uh huh, we got that reaction out of it. Mm. Oh! Witness, in your testimony, you clearly stated the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Ergo, you are a biased witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, rookie. Huh? Rookie? Unless you are willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. Yes. I'll fry you like a flit fritter crisp on the outside, chewy on the inside. That, that was inspiring. I believe I heard that tagline somewhere else. Eins elsewhere. Could you cry plagiarism? I may be relegated to a lowly post of a lunch lady, but my instincts are home. Okay, there we go. There's that. I was thinking, like, wait a minute. Am I supposed to present this? Okay. Uh, oh. a, a photograph. You took this. The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap. I took a picture. In fact, one of my lunch boxes is rigged with a camera. I suppose there's that's more exciting than just hanging it around your neck, then. Huh! What a, what a bunch of bull! Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen this photograph. Hell, oh, so you're saying, so you didn't look, so you're saying that? Oh God, no! Don't do it! You didn't look at this photograph! Damn it! What are I? Damn it! Right, really? <laughs> you think I showed it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. Uh. My boyfriend works in the photograph. Photography Division of Criminal Affairs. Well, this is certainly, most certainly, the defendant. Okay, now I gotta look at this carefully and... Uh-oh, that is unmistakably Lana Sky. So, what was the defendant doing at the time? In a right hand. Um... Oh! Oh, wait, 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 I'm sure that is a fine lunch. But, isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. Uh, right? Oh, oh, right, right, right. Look at this photograph! Oh, damn it, really? Again? For the second time? Ha! Ah, two times in a row, baby. You can't stop me. <laughs> this, and this, this is the photograph you took at the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? Uh... <clears throat> Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts. I'm Jackson. Let's be a little more careful with our evidence, shall we? And it's you who needs to be more careful, Mr. Wright. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This, this photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. It was taken the moment after the stabbing. Oh, shit. H how can you tell that? Blood splatter. Huh? See the dark crimson stain ain't on the... What the fuck? Uh... Updater EXE application error. What? Instruction at zero... <laughs> Reference to memory that could not be read. Oh, click OK to turn it a program. What the fuck was that? Okay, I'm still recording, so it's not like a memory program. What the... F what the hell was it referring to? A oh, random ass program just appeared, and I don't like no understand it. I, I'm probably gonna have to be. Uh, I'm probably gonna be afraid later. And with the dark crimson stain on the chief prosecutor's coat. It's black and white photography. Ah, uh, oh yes, but it's hard to, to tell. But could this be blood? Oh, well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem, except you, Mr. Wright. Are you going to just sit there and take that kind of abuse? Ugh, you got a better idea. 
hold on. Let me recheck the thing here. Okay, so if it's not that, what? Uh, wait a minute. Why? Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, there's a blood at her feet either. Or no, no, I got a feeling this is gonna be done. No, I got a feeling like this is going to be something I have to object to. Objection! Wait, wait. The contradiction that that contradicts what the witness is, has said in her testimony, namely that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. Well, it seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. That's it. If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering a jumbo size lunch from the get-go. Good advice. I'm not sure I understood it, but good advice. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor's guy was cold and cal was a cold cal old calculating like a robot. She kills without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated more premeditated murder. Premeditated? How do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hands in the foot in that photograph, right? So in this case, I should say, you look at this photograph. Ah, uh, it's not good when I say it. When you, when I when you say it. Oh, shut up! You know it was good. Where are those gloves? Surgical gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have this on? Uh. It was not premeditated, and she would have not been wearing those gloves. Why? <clears throat> These gloves seem to tell the tale of premeditation. Premeditated aided murder. A serious offense. Witness, add this to your testimony. Wait a minute. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves, gloves proved it. Okay. I got a feeling I gotta, like, present this photograph, but... Um... But... Having a hard time here. If it was premeditated, uh, I don't know. Well, you know, let's pr let's press like we always do. All right. What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves, like driving gloves? The gloves were in as owners when the defendant was arrested. They were rubber gloves, of course. God damn it. They were rubber gloves, of course. The, uh, uh, uh. They were rubber gloves of the kind used for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do the murder. Do murder is the only possible conclusion can one make. Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Ah! I'm pressing. I'm sorry they took you off the force, Miss Stark. This is bad. She's got them thinking it was all planned. If she can prove that claim, this trial's all already over. I gotta think of a way to show that this wasn't premeditated. It's... Can we not talk about that, please? Okay, so it's the new statement that was added. She said it was premeditated. I think it has something to do with this photo, but I don't know what, though. Um... Shit! Uh... You know what? No, I'm not taking chances here. I'm gonna fucking save. Yeah, I I'm not taking chances here, damn it. I've already lost one. I I'm not that confident in my memory. I mean, like, with the other ones, it's just more or less I went with my gut. This one, I'm not... I'm trying to apply to memory. Fuck that. No. Uh... Uh, come on, God, don't fail me now! Objection. Nope. I goofed. <sighs> Shit. I fucked up, sir! Indeed you did! Now we think about your life! Okay, so it was not that, but... Okay, that makes sense that there was gonna be the fingerprints on the knife. But... There's gotta be something. Is it the phone? No, it... 
Wait, wait, hold on, hold on one second. Premeditate. I don't know, like, premeditated, like, okay, so this is wrong. Uh, phone? Nope. Okay, now I'm just grasping at straws here. At this point, I may just might need to rest uh, reset myself here. Ah, crap. I'm seriously not, like, I'm really, yeah, I'm not thinking this one. This one's a hard one. Not gonna be wrong. Not gonna be wrong here. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, premeditated. Premeditary. Um, this year it's premeditated murder, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't see this being premeditated, though. That's the thing. Um, this year, uh, this year, maybe I should. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Loss of blood from chest wound. The wound was caused by a 12 centimeter knife. A single stab was found. Wait, didn't she say that? Wait, like, weren't we? Um, you know what? No. Seriously, I'm I'm just like trying here. No need to push this again. What's wrong? You look like, like I do during the finals. Never mind, it's nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. I never knew that. Uh, but, hmm. I don't know. Was it because of the. Wait, is it because of the. Wait. Is it because of the call that was. that? Wait, hold on. Is it the phone? Okay. Nope. The music's still playing. I gotta, uh, you know, I fucked. I have fucked up. I, I, I don't remember this one. I don't remember this part. I don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. I only got one attempt left, and I'm screwed. Uh, see, again, it's like, she says it's premeditated, which sucks. Sucks. Premeditated, really? How? How can I prove this? Oh my god! What is it? Premeditated. I don't see how this is premeditated. Ah! Ah, uh, nope. Uh, the ID? No. Damn it. What is it? Yeah, it's got no it's got no prints. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Wait a minute. Death is due to a loss of blood. Um Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Time of death between four. Maybe this is it. Maybe this one it. Maybe the maybe the autopsy is what it is. Objection. Nope. Uh, there is my first fuck up of the game, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm talking about like getting the guilty verdict. I am no ace attorney. I am fucked. I got no attempts left. I am boned. Yep. That's enough. The court sees no reason to fuck my life. I'm the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, guilty. Damn it. Damn it! Shit. Ah, damn. Um, I gotta redo that again. Let's see here. Continue where we left off. Okay. Uh, from save point. Wait, what? Present Edward's knife on the murder was planned. 
Okay. Oh, fuck me! I didn't! Oh, I'm gonna have to edit that shit out. Witness, do you know what this is? Are you trying to test me? I sell lunches, lunchbox for a living, you know. That's a knife. The knife. I have that the knife that was in Ned and Edward's trunk. Indeed, it is my knife. So, what's with this case? The blood murder, the bloody murder weapon, a red car, all belonging to prosecutor, all belonging to the prosecutor there. The defendant is the chief prosecutor of the district for the district, right? Mommy, are prosecutors bad people? The defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. What's that, rookie? In your testimony, you stated that Lana Sky planted this mur planned this murder. That's why she wasn't wearing those gloves. Special gloves. It seems natural. Until conclusion to me, the gloves do indicate planning. However, why was she not also prepared the most important thing? The murder weapon. Oh. I hate this. Sometimes, sometimes I just wish, like, really, it, it, it like, the knife didn't feel obvious. It didn't feel like an obvious thing, and I keep forgetting, like, oh, wait, they, ah, they did mention the, it being 10 centimeters. Fuck me. This knife just happened to be in the trunk of that car. Sorry, I had to look up a guy for this one. I was getting too stumped for that. Ah, oh, screw you, man. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, if you're going to plan a murder, don't forget the weapon. Oh. 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 Lunchbox is flying across this room. Order! 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 Great, now the tide is turning in our favor. Great show, Mr. Wright. My sister is good as free. Oh, don't count your chickens before they hatch, Mr. Wright. Right! I believe the next lunch you'll be eating is humble pie. Wh what? I hope you weren't deluding yourself into thinking that the tide has turned. No, no, it's such a trifle in detail. But, but this shoots a hole in the whole premeditated theory. Bah. The prosecution would care unless it was premeditated or not. The only one, the only one who seems to care is that lunch lady over there. Uh. The defendant, Lana Sky, murdered a def detective with a knife. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That is the only thing the prosecution need to prove. Nothing else. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now. But you know as well as I do, she planned on killing him. It was planned. If it wasn't, why should we have been wearing... Wearing what? I believe I'd like to hear your testimony again. Runners, please tell us only what you saw, not what you thought. How dare you? My powers of deduction are not to be underestimated. Really now? I'm telling you, man. There was like, a, I hate. I feel like this case is gonna be the biggest. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this down. I'm gonna cut this down. Don't worry, I will cut this down. If, if it turns out to be shorter than a, a little bit less than what it would be probably like from what I'm reading by the end, I get to this. Don't worry, it's cut down. Angel's deduction. Lana Sky's intention to, and it, it's Lana Sky intended to murder Detective Goodman. All right, that's why she called the victim out all the way to the prosecutor's office. I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Nothing else could have drived. I have a human machine aimed to point on your knife and again and again. Motherfuck! What the? No! Okay, now I know this one. I know this one. The victim summoned the. The victim was summoned for the police department, for the prosecutor's office. It all seemed out a lot like premeditation, doesn't it? Doesn't it? So if I order pizza, does that mean I plan on I'm planning on killing the delivery boy? Ah. In any case, the defense may now cross-examine the witness. Okay, this one was actually this one's actually much, way the hell much clearer. Like the it, the ten centimeters thing was kind of like off, and that the fact that I didn't tell me that it was ten centimeters, it just uh, I don't know. Like, maybe it's due to the fact it was someone else's knife and not their own, I, I guess, would make much more sense. Uh, nope. I don't care about that statement. I don't care about that statement. I don't care about that statement. Nothing else could just drive the plunge the knife again and again and again. Unfortunately for you, this says no. See, look at that. I... See, th that knife thing was kind of dumb. Because kind of, like, not as obvious. Th this one was obvious. You say she stabbed Abdim again and again and again and again. And I get... Ron, where are you going with us? But you couldn't have witnessed that. 
Are you testing me? Then I'll test you. With my mossy su with my moss surprise. I'm afraid that like, the moss is growing under our feet as we wait, mister. Huh? What do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain this, but take a look. Your tells her revolt states that death was due to a loss of blood from one star wound. You dumbass. Ha oh, ha! You're right! Good show, Mr. Edward. What a hunk, he's my hero, really. What about my objection? No one notice? Well, witness. You got the crime scene set, right? Oh, oh, thank you. Thanks. I always believed that no one could ever mistake ketchup for blood. But now I realize such a mistake is pos such mistakes are possible. So you're saying you mistook something for blood? When she lifted her knife lifted her knife, I saw blood at her breast. Okay. Splattered the blood from her victim. Splatter blood from her victim. That's what I thought she had must have stabbed him at least twice. Then tell us what you saw that day was blood. Testify! Alright then. The red muffler looked like blood to me. That's how... The red muffler? Muffler? Wait, 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 wait. Um... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now my gut feeling's kicking in now. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Shit. I knew like, that photo's gonna play another point and roll, but fuck. Wait! Bonus is clearly not suited for the dead to work. What? What? You, you didn't make me read the last statement, Edward. What the fuck? The suspect was not wearing a scarf or a muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim. And you proved it yourself. You proved it yourself with this photograph. Again, Edgeworth? Yes, I did it twice. So I. Huh? But, but that can't be. Only a true professional would be so clueless. I'm sure you would make a good lunch, lady. Have no fear. Password by God. In the end, Mr. Edgeworth prevails. What was my objection, child lever? But it was there. A scar. No, not that. But something red. Really? Damn it, I'm tired of this shit. No, nah, well, no. Where were we? The witness has given us an entertaining interlude. No, burnt to business. W what? What do you want? Witness, continue your testimony. You saw the crime and apprehended the suspect. Tell us about that. Very well. I do remember some things accurately, at least. Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of her testimony. Most important part? The part where your sister stabs the victim. His next testimony might be just the moment of truth. Apprehending the suspect. Okay. After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind the part partition off to her side. I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. Ah, uh, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned, um, mentioned the muffler. That's when I... And she had me confused in my earlier testimony. The chief prosecutor had made an escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. It's futile. Resistance is futile. <laughs> you are quite determined about the scarf, aren't you? I strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. That's me, Angel Star. No. That wasn't a very good metaphor. First of all, a cobra is a kind of snake. Don't bother me with de details unless you want to get bitten. N no thanks. Note to self, Attorney Wright gets bitten by a snake. <laughs> the prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked off my she knocked my hands aside and kicked over an oil drum. Oil drum? Hard to imagine. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Wow. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your close examination, if you will. Um, uh, apparently, okay, so that would possibly explain why there's no blood at her feet. So that that was kind of like what I was coming up with, like, but there's no blood. How can you say it? Like, no, nah, like, no, that would mean cleaning up. Apparently, the suspect. I think we're suspect is attempting to run behind the scene. Uh, no, I'm not taking chances. Yeah, fuck that. No, I'm saving. After the shit I've got, after the, like, the biggest brain fart art, and I had to look up a, like, look up a slight guide for the damn thing. <coughs> damn, that was quick. Ugh, excuse me. No, I'm not burp. I didn't. Excuse the, excuse the sneeze. Ugh. Ugh. Probably should have held that in. I think I, I think a little bit of my spit went into the mic. Oh, that's good enough. 
Uh, the best way to decide, I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her, arrested on the spot. When I arrested her, she mentioned, mentioned the muffler. Actually... No, 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 no. I gotta keep this blind as much as possible. That one part screwed me over. Again, I did play this portion of the case, but I want to make sure, like, I got everything here. Uh, so, we're in this partition on the floor for, for plants. I'm sure... I'm sure she means this wall next to the car. That's right. Uh, there was a wall there, about six feet high. She was obviously trying to hide herself. Quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. What did you do then? Wait, wait, is it due to the drum barrel? That's what had me confused earlier in the testimony. Chief Prosecutor made an escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. Did she try to run? I'm, uh, I'm sorry my sister is so suspicious, Mr. Rice. Uh, not as sorry as I am. But she didn't do it, you have to believe me. Caught her in a restaurant spot. You say quickly. Were you close to the suspect? As just as I said, it was, I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. Hmm. Maybe I should press her for more details. Yes, because I want to like... I like to see on the floor plan just to be safe. The lunch land car was... Alright, she was a visitor. She was a visitor, though she was parked... She was parked in being blocked. So you witnessed the murder from here. That would make it about 30 feet from the car, yes. Is that correct, Miss Star? Yes, that's right. But there's a chain link... But there's a chain... But there was a chain link fence for you. I went over it, of course. Amazing, the coffer queen. Lunch lady athlete. Indeed. It would take... Of course. It would have taken her a little time to climb over the fence. She couldn't have gotten my, my sister that fast. Yeah, that fence was about nine feet high or so. How come this guy didn't get away? Uh, maybe this is where the... When I arrested her, she mentioned something about a muffler. Uh, she mentioned the muffler. What exactly did she say? If I remember exactly, she would have told... I would have told you in the testimony. She. Anyway, I heard her... All I heard her say was the word muffler. Just what word? So, why don't you do it? Was it the suspect talking to you but someone else? Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Oh, her phone? You mean the cell phone? Ask further. By phone, do you mean the cell phone discovered at the crime street crime scene? Yes, ultimately. Ultimately. My memory is like a salmon heading upstream, you see. Uh, no, the cult does not doesn't seem a star. Chief Prosecutor first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall. That's right. Near the car, there was an emergency phone on the wall. Apparently, it was out of order. And so she used our cell phone. And the emergency phone was out of order then, too. Hmm. Good witnessing, witness. Good witnessing? Whatever happened to good testifying? You should, of course, add this to your testimony. The things, things I do to please this rookie defense attorney. All right. Um... She gave up trying to use the phone on the wall and used her cell phone. Um, the word muffler was overheard and call. Call was made. Um, you know, what, let's make her press because I feel like this is a statement. You know, at this point, if I, um, do you think you could reinstate and te your testimony for the court? Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's go to ask the same thing. I will only say this one time, so listen closely. Oh, rookies. The chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. She picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. So she pulled her own cell phone out of her pocket. And during that time, you climbed over... Oh, during that time, you climbed over the chain link. Then I boldly grabbed had her arm. The chief prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this? Oh, that's right! You can't see behind the partition. Uh, 
how would you know this? Gotcha, bitch! I have concluded that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. Oh, God, she always has a, she has a, perse she has a personal grudge against persecutors, dude. What do you expect? Objection. Christ, man. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarried by personal bias. Well, who would have thought you would be my knight in shiny armor, prosecutor? You who together uh, with, a pre with Chief Prosecutor kicked me out two years ago. What? Well, Miss Star, this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Huh. I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's look at the look at the four plants. Oh, you thought I was going to say photograph again, didn't you? Oh, God, he, he knew I was thinking it. You said the witness, witness of the crime witness the crime from this point. However, if that's true, you possibly couldn't see this guy taking that phone call. Uh-oh. You done goofed. I believe you see what I'm getting at. The emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. If indeed you were in block B, you couldn't have seen it. Why? <laughs> you fucked up, woman. Hold on, hold on. What is the meaning of this? It's simple, Your Honor. She's not uh, coughing up lunch. She's coughing up lies. Grr. That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you will allow me to question. Allow me a question. Tell us exactly what lie this witness has told to the court. Here's where the counterattack begins. You can't afford to get this wrong. The witness lied about where she saw it. She tried, to use, uh, she tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. What is significant about this fact? Nothing. It would be pointless for her to lie about it. Pointless to lie. I see. The witness did actually see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. In other words, the star witnessed the crime from a different location. A different location? No, that's no, that's a pointless lie. If I ever heard one. Before you call my lie pointless. At least let me tell it. Let me ask. Let me ask a question to all. Clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? All the testimony we've heard up to now points in one direction. Uh, the security room? That would be the only place I could see. It's either the security room. Um, it would have to be in lot A. But where in lot A would be a better point? Or, she would have to be over here on the other side of the partition, though. What was it? Will it be the security? Nope. This is the only place where she could have been. A security? Oh, it just automatically triggered. <laughs> I didn't even pick. You know what? Screw it. I'm not. T I'm taking. I was thinking that too, but like, well, it's technically an, uh, A block, so let's just go with A block. Like, oh, it just going straight to car room, all right? Okay. That's fine. The security guard room. And in the security guard room, I'm in the underground parking lot. What is it well positioned? It's built on the second level, so even you can see the entire lot. Hmm. She would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? There are so many other places she have could would have seen the phone. Not in this case, Your Honor. The witness not being part of the prosecutor's office could not park in park in a, in a block. The only place she could have seen the crime was back in the partition is here. I remember your testimony. You, I remember your testimony. You said you brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room, yes? Well, Miss Star, how many years have I been getting the better of men? To think that the tables would have been turned, could be turned. Today, a man has gotten better of Angel Star. Angel, you are not woman. Order, order, witness. What have you done? You used to be a detective. You should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. The guilt. Guilty. Is she talking about Miss Sky? Uh, Mr. Wright, doesn't this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make sense. Huh? She could have just said she saw the crime from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells all. It was the defendant who stunned the victim. The truth still stands. It still stands? I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. 
Hunt! If a witness was found to be lying, they're guilty of pre-jury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk without a good reason. With stat without a good reason. So tell us. How, tell us what uh, her reason was, Mr. Wright. Huh? Me? Who else? Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. Alright. Okay. Mr. Star witnessed the crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said she saw it from B Block. It must make a vital difference, but what would have changed? The an angel of angle of view for the crime. The distance to the crime would be a difference. Well, technically, yeah, the distance. No, the distance wouldn't really change. I would say the angle to of view would be the would be appropriate. Why the angle of which at which she saw the crime occurred would change. The angle? Do you mean? Um. Uh. Um. Well, the security guard station is on the second floor, and um, she would have sort of have more three D view of the crime. And this is important. Why? Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Perhaps we should like consider Mr. Wright. Fuck my life. Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. No, it, no, no, no. It was yeah, I was right because she it did she did because okay, okay, okay. Let's try this again. It, okay, the angle was one, but the difference in the changes in distance between her her and the this scene and the Oh god, don't tell me you're gonna get me out of this. My condolences, says Mr. Wright, but one look at the phone plans and it's quite clear. Damn it. <sighs> Fuck me. Get, uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there is it. The question is not what she saw. The question here, it's a matter of the time she, it would take her to reach the scene of the crime. Oh, damn it. Miss Star, you witnessed the crime. I'm from the gal from the security guard station. Now, how long did it take you to go from there? To the scene of the crime where you miss, we're asking Miss Sky. Well, witness. You? Yes. You order the squid wheels, right? The quality of lunches has gone from the low to inedible. I was bringing a PBJ lunch with my fresh boysenberry jam to my boyfriend. <gasps> boysenberry for the boyfriend. He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass as wall the station. So how long did it take you? And before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. Oh! So it was a matter of that the door was locked, and she had to take the long way around to see what was going on. Oh, okay. So that would make much more sense. So she would have to climb through the front of the thing. That's why I had to go to the visitor's parking lot and be part. Be poor. Be part. Be block! That's quite a beast. It's pro it probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. F five minutes? Holy crap! That's impressive. Hmm. This changes things considerably. But it was the woman over there in the defense chair who stabbed him. I know I have. I know it. I have photographic evidence. I swear it. I swear it on my finest plastic spork. You have a point. And, and the spork is a wonderful invention. It's like a fork and a spoon at the same time. Yeah. Would you like another caviar lunch? Caliber caviar lunch. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghettios. Mr. Wright, you have to do something. Do we have any evidence to stop this? I don't know. What what, what would I have to look for though? Oh yeah, the bl again. I think it's blood. A blood. Blah 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 blood. Right? Blood. Right? Please tell me it's blood. I want to know if it's blood. Blood? Is there blood? <laughs> Five minutes between the witnessing of the witnessing of the murder and the arrest. Think about it. You couldn't make pasta in that amount of time. If you like it all dete, like it all didn't tay. I got lunch boxes that tie pasta into knots, rookie. No. A five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange. 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 If you're a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, Your Honor? Well, uh, I guess I'd flee the scene. Hey! Don't get me. Don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anyone. But you have the instincts of a killer. You would run. 
But this time it was di but this time was different. The sky dwaddle at the scene of the crime. She had even take she even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it seems we have come to the end of this testimony. She has a grudge against the defendant, and there is a blank in our testimony. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth is the next. Next witness ready to go. Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this witness on account of our professional history. We did it. We screwed that can shut, Mr. Wright. That was too close, and it and I screwed up once. I'm afraid the cough-up queen has been dethroned, and with that, court has adjourned! No, we're not done yet. She's going to continue to hold out, isn't she? Yeah, I thought so. Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? That's the one she tried to foist off me! I am afraid not to take the defense team's life, though. Is anything else to say? I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What was... What was that? Is this another one of her trick lunchboxes? I apologize. I apologize. My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Star. Ah. Then this is your jumbo lunchbox. Oh! Oh! A triple decker! I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be coughing up my own... I'm gonna vomit tonight! Wait. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna overeat. That, that's why me. <laughs> Did you... Yes, I smoked some weed before this. So yes, I'm increasingly hungry. Oh, uh, well. Oh. Well, that's not something I expect, that's for damn sure. Out of defer deference as to the witness's de determination, I will allow one more testimony. Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the Lunchland motto says, you won't be disappointed. What you gonna pull out of her lunchbox this time? I got a feeling it's not going to be long, though. I feel like it's going to be a little over an hour, but damn. Decisive evidence. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found on the shoe. One was, of course, the victim's. And the other was the defendant, Miss Lana Skye's blood. She proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know. What? There was blood found on the shoe! On that shoe! Try lunch land for all of your lunch and decisive evidence needs. <laughs> you know what? Uh, yeah. Winners, where is the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? You don't trust your ass! Simple. I've, as I've already said, I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. And that's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. Oh, damn it! And you had blonde houses performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. Oh, go... You know what? How are those boyfriends telling you to go fuck off? <laughs> oh, because seriously, this is dumb as shit. In any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You must know the two rules of evidence law. Of evidence law. Go on, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is in legal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Mr. Edgeworth is so sure. Is Edgeworth is sure is celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, the shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, I was approved by the police department. As of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, uh, no, no, damn it. There goes my ball. Oh, there it goes. I felt my nuts sack getting kicked. Oh, God, that's not going to feel like... Oh, God. Is it right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Mr. Ed Edgeworth is looking pretty sullen. You can at least study evidence law, really. The prosecution's complaints notwithstanding... It appears this ev evidence satisfies our ev satisfies the first rule of evidence of law, of evidence law. Well, it seems you have yet another count against you, witness. And seems to assure that the guilty are properly judged. All right, all right. 
Mr. Wright, will you please cross-examine the witness again? Uh, sure. I'm not gonna say anything! Dude, you basically stated that you felt it felt like you got kicked in the nuts. Of course, I'm not gonna say it. Oh my god, that's at least less painful. Uh, though I think the ejection that's about to follow is not. Oh god, no! Stop it! That'll make it worse! Actually, hold on. Whoa, wait a second. Let's see here, uh, check for... Ah, I can't. Okay, there's blood on the bottom of the shoe. Ah! There's blood here, too! On the sole of the shoe? It's gotta be the victims. Must have stepped in the puddle of his own blood. All this blood. It's horrible. This blood might be an important clue. Alright, not yet, though. It's not here. And now the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I, I did, did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found on this shoe. One was, of course, the victim's. Uh -huh. And the other was the defendant in Islamic Sky's blood. She proves it. It's a false decisive evidence. Okay, now now the question is, do I present the picture or do I pres do I present the picture or do I present um Question is do I present the picture or do I present the uh not the picture the um do I present the picture or do I present the uh the the shoe considering area? Um what's up? Nope. Music still playing. That's incorrect. So let's try the. F if I get two things wrong, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, uh huh. Sure. Okay. It's got. It's got to be the. Uh. Okay. So it's the picture then. It's. Or maybe I'm supposed to like prove it. The flawless decisive evidence. Let, let's just make sure here. I can't let this evidence go through without out of fight. You order the pepper and fish peppered fish guts, right? <laughs> Something like it hot, Mr. Wright. Some, um, like your client. She's enough of hot water that can make a whole batch of soup. Mr. Wright, do you or do you not have a problem with the shoe? A problem? This is critical. What's wrong with the victim's shoe? There's a problem! Okay, so I was supposed to do it after it, but not imagining things. It says there's one critical pro- I'd say there's one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction! That gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now. But you couldn't take the heat, could you? Let's say one Oh, God. Why? Why am I not? Why am I the judge? Um. <clears throat> Let's hear what Mr. Wright has to say. What is contradictory about the victim's shoe? Show us this problem with the evidence. Okay. It's not the side of the shoe, but the bottom of the shoe. I was wondering if you notice there's blood on the bottom of this shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. Or it'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. Hmm. Indeed, there's quite a bit of blood on the bottom of this of the shoe. That makes sense, the mug I mean it was done with the night. What puzzle can be dropped under the about the bottom of the shoe? If you look at the if you look at the crime scene. The problem lies in the footprint. The footprint? Note that the blood on the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? Why were there any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? Ah! As you can see, there were no traces of such any such footprints at the scene of the crime. This contradicts your claim about this shoe. This picture only shows part of the form. That so there could be bl a bloody footprints. If there were bloody prints, they would have been found. Let's check the scene. We checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. All right. Uh, order, order, order. What a witness. What? Huh? I, uh, great going. Oh, and Mr. Wright, but it's true that the lack of footprints is a contradiction. But then we have to ask why wasn't there a footprint? Oh, that's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Wright. Think. Hey, I don't know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions. What? Oh, I know. It's because of the oil. It's because of the bolt drum, right? Actually, now I get it. Get what? Oh, what is this more devious than I gave a credit for? We will hunt wait to the very end. 
But she slipped. There's one final hint to the truth in her testimony. What, what are you talking about? Think about what she told us about ever ending the suspect. Chief Prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside and kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Wow. Nope. Nope. Oh, I thought it was a strange thing for a normally cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. No, we're not so long to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, what is it empty? Oh, that? I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Though, apparently, you're not the slowest conveyor air belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness. Well, was the oil drum empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Uh, water? Uh-oh, what does that mean? So I don't get it right. You want to know the reason she not to know the real reason? Aha! Uh -huh. You don't mean... Yes, she's a... The suspect knocked him with that oil drum for one reason alone, one reason alone. To erase the blood stains that would become evidence against her. Ah! Damn it! Wait, I'm supposed to say. Um, no, sorry, wait, sorry. Uh, uh, I'm not using this. Uh, you sure about that? Uh, uh, that ties up. That ties up things quite nicely. The blood stains left on the victim's shoe tie her quite clearly to this murder. But after the game was done, she knocked over the oil drum and erased the telltale signs. Why, that's that's prosecutors, especially arrested acing evidence. That reminds me, this guy's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she cut herself when she stabbed him? So my sister's blood was on the shoe? That's when it happened? Well... I see no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. Wright, just do something, please. What? What can I do? Your sister has confessed as to the crime, and she tried to conceal it, but... Oh, no! There is no need for further debate. The verdict, Your Honor. Very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecution side. She could have been lying about the water. This court advised to defend Miss Lana Sky. Hold it! Called it. Somebody pick up the phone, cause I fucking called it. Little girl, what'd you just say? Huh? Me? Did you say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution side? But well yeah, you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Well I thought you had your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox, a lunchbox called evidence. What? Witness, don't tell me you have something else. You've reached your verdict, you've reached your verdict, Your Honor. And for the cop, how much will help be held in contempt of court? Your threats don't scare the cop up, Queen. Look at this. A photo. A photograph? I had this just in case anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Huh. I see no room for error in this evidence. Mr. Wright, wait. Look at the ass ball in this photo. Yeah, hey, it, hey, it's clearly wet. Where is in the last train? It's a doubt from the cult's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I, I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. Wait, there's more to this. I'm sorry, Mia. Right, wet or not, don't be quick to throw in the towel. Ugh. Get yourself off the asphalt. Take another look. Don't give up, not until the bitter end. All right. This is the last piece of evidence. Very, very well. This time I like to declare a verdict for good. Objection! Objection! <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, really? Oh, God, we knew this was coming. Un I mean, Judge. All right. Your Honor, wait. What is it with you people? Can't I hand down my verdict in peace anymore? 
Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. Then it will be too late. Look at this photograph. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, damn it, right. Again, all things. Yes. <laughs> I, <laughs> I struck out today. <laughs> the last one submitted. The trial isn't over. Until we give it each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, right. Are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yeah. I'll think later. Yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I've got to go ahead with this one. I suppose as we call this one, we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show us the occur- Oh, there's something in the muffler. Uffler. There is- No, literally, she was talking about something being in the muffler. There is something in the muffler. The problem is in this photograph. It's here! What is this? There's something poking out of the car's buffalo! Wait just a moment, Mr. Edgeworth. No, no. You just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or a scarf of any kind in this photograph. Uh, right, uh, uh, really, really, Judge? Uh, you're not fine, whatever. A muffler's also a part of a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as like a part of exhaust, out of an exhaust system, a pipe. A she, and a she. What's this suspicious-looking claw sticking out of the car's muffler? <laughs> so what if there's something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with the do with the case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Objection! I say otherwise. Sorry, Miss Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this isn't important or into the case. You said as much in your testimony. What? But you know what Mr. Wright had on, has on his mind. Tell us why you think this piece of cloth off in the off is related to the case. It's the phone call. Tell us why you think this piece of cloth in the muffler is related to the case. It's on a cell phone. Miss Star, recall your testimony in the for the court. Ah yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's when she had me confused in my earlier testimony. Muffler. Ah! Yeah! Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. Oh, whoa! Really? 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 Really, yes, of it? Jeez. Would you, would, would you like some coffee? <laughs> Well, it seems we have to suspend in the proceedings. S suspend? I find myself wondering about all that piece of cloth. If we leave any question unanswered, here we do a dis disservice to all the law. Have the car of Skyrim seen inspected at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until after we've seen all the evidence. Agreed? Uh, I suppose so. Whew. That was close. But, we made it. At least for now. The court is adjourned for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime now. It's lunchtime after all. You still hungry? What the fuck? To be continued. Okay, good. Good, I need to stop. I had to look up a guide for this because of that re- I had to look up a guide! I don't like looking up guides. I just, especially when I'm like, when I'm playing a game for the first time, unless I'm like, I'm stumped on like something. That had me stumped for a long time, that brain fart. Anyway, regardless, that is going to be cut, and this will be shorter than 1 hour and 33 minutes. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, why don't you do me a favor and hit this like, hit, hit this, hit that like button. And also, if you want to keep up to date to more videos I post on the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon to turn on notifications. With that said, I will see you all in another video. Latest.